And so I plead with my fellow senators to, uh, to just put this over for a year, let our committee do its work. It will allow us to work through a very complicated set of issues, and it will allow us to avoid raising rates this year and working towards a proposal that we hope will avoid raising rates in the future. On this vote, the yeas are 51, the nays are 49. Three-fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn, not having voted in the affirmative, the motion is not agreed to. We saw this coming. This bus has been approaching a cliff for a year. That ought to be time enough to turn it around, and turn it around without throwing students underneath it. And the evidence continues to grow that a significant percentage of young Americans is facing a challenge that no Americans before us has faced with regards to this sort of student loan debt that hangs over their neck. Senators from both sides of the aisle have tried to take what the president wanted, take what was done uh, by the House Republicans, and come up with a very reasonable agreement that is a solution that doesn't just leave us here in the same position next year, doesn't just address 40 percent of student loans, but addresses all student loans.